as we advance, we reach higher and higher states. <clears throat> and we move from the holy spiritual center of the consciousness up to the sacred center of the heart, up to the sacred center of the head. Here we feel much closer to the inner self. And then later we can move up to the so-called crown chakra above the head and have conscious contact with God. And, and when you do that, you feel like every breath is like a kiss from God. Mm. You're so connected. And so, the only thing you can do higher than that is to become attuned to God and become at one with God. But you'll never become at one with God as a personality. Only your holy monadic self, which I know that's a strange word, but it's a it's your innermost self. That's what becomes one with God, not the personality. So after long successions of incarnations, you reach a point of theosis where you become one with God. Then we know what really know what total love is. But that's from way, way later. It's not for now. But there's a temptation to try to reach to that level now by some who really want to storm the gates, right? <laughs> So, but advanced ones in our systems and other systems know if you try to reach this high, you'll be stopped by the great masters. And they will be told the same thing. Go back. The time has not come for you. Now in mysticism, this is called the ring pass knot. You must not try to pass this state until mm -hmm. you reach this, reach it fully. You can't just do a lot of exercises and try to force this thing to happen. And it represents a symbolic circle, an impassable, well-guarded border between illusion, the illusion of the world's duality, and the unity of the world's of beingness, of the realm of beings. And it's only crossable by holy monadic beings going into theosis. And you can't achieve it by, pers by um, mm -hmm. force, by technical means like certain mantras and meditations or something, or by drugs. You must enter the straight gate, as Christ called it. We can't climb up over the gate because we'll just get thrown back out like the guy with the wedding garment in the parable. Are the, the masters garment. in the superconscious elementals? What's that? Are the masters in the superconscious elementals or actual beings? I was oh, wondering. they're actual beings. So is Doskalos, so Doskalos, if you guys communicate with him, you communicate with him, not the elemental of him? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Both. I mean, sometimes it's him and sometimes it's your elemental of him. But your elemental of him is connected and he helped create that elemental of him in you. Mm -hmm. So what happens if a really advanced person does not heed the warning, go back? And they keep trying to go forward. Do they get absorbed oh. by the... Burn up. What's that? Do they, like, do they lose their life? Their oh, no, no. Uh, they uh, lose the opportunity, basically. Oh. <clears throat> Obviously, they're not going to know by force. They're not going to know God. They're not going to reach the knowingness of oneness of God any more than we're going to can stare at the sun with our material eyes and know what the sun is. And they, there's a consequence. What do you mean they lose the opportunity? They don't lose it forever. Well, there's a consequence. And the consequence, it will be very, very long time before they're able to return to that state again. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you know the Grail story, but then when they go out looking for the Holy Grail, the guy that ends up finds it. And he finds it, but he doesn't do the right thing. He doesn't do the right thing. And so the, everything disappears, and he's forced to wander for seven more years till he finds the Grail again. It's sort of the same thing. You have to do this right. Mm -hmm. 